Howdy folks, welcome to this episode of Burns Misadventures. I recently tried to create a bootable USB using DD only to have it fail to boot when I tried to use it. And looking at it now I realized that I did a couple of things wrong. So we're going to try to do this following a, a guide. But then what I realized also is there's issues with the guide. So this guide here is on how to create bootable US dri USB drive using DD command, right? And it's on ostechnics.com. I'll leave a link to the article in the description, but uh, as we can see in the comments, I, I tried this and I had some failures. And so this person wanted to add a couple things to monitor the progress. And this guy says, this John guy here in the comments says, you can add status equals progress to the DD command. And then another thing that he says, this Peter Keel guy, he mentioned that the way he said to format the USB drive fails, and I've tried it that way with the dash I, and it does fail. But that's because you're supposed to put it right after the makefile system and then dash I, so there's the parameter. And then you specify to what device. So we'll try these changes and see if this works any better for us. So we'll go back to the directions here. First thing we're gonna do, is we're going to minimize this. We're going to open the terminal. We'll make it plenty large so that we can all see. And control shift plus plus. All right, next thing is uh, we'll go ahead and do a list block. So if we look here, we have my USB drive right here, SDG and it is 7.5 gigs hmm. it shows it's not mounted right now let's do this let's close what I want to do here is I try and duplicate what it would be like if you were actually going to try to do this so I got my little flash drive here and I'm going to stick it in the computer in the USB port all right, so now that it's been inserted, the operating system mounted it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, we're going to repeat what we did before with the, the size of the terminal. All right, we'll do a ls blk. And so there we see it. And this is that it's mounted, a, it's mounted one of the partitions on the USB at run media diverm blah, blah blah okay so first thing we're going to want to do is unmount it all right and so to do that we'll go sudo now another problem i had trying to do this the first time was i tried to just unmount the device sdg but as you can see the root device is not mounted just the partition so you have to unmount the mounted partition so if you have a mount point, you need to unmount. So U-mount uh, device, and it'd be SDG1. One. All right, good. So now if we do, a, do that, now we see that we don't have a mount point here anymore for anything here on the USB drive. Okay. So now we can move on to the next part of the operation, and that was, okay, let's minimize and go back to the guide. <laughs> minimize and go back to our faulty guide. But that's all right, we'll make it work. So he says to do this, the sudo makefilesystem.vfat device sd, well in our case sdg, right? So let's go back to our terminal. In fact, we'll just copy. We'll copy this. And we'll paste it in there with and we'll make a couple changes as we go. So we'll paste. Now last thing you want to do if you paste this in here is just willy-nilly go ahead and throw it out there and, and and hit enter. Because well number one it's gonna fail because of the dash I. But also as it as it was written in the article, that would have been uh, that would have been one of my operating system drives, and that, that's a very bad thing. 
So make sure that you've got your USB drive here. Okay, so the device SDG, right? And then we're going to do that dash I in front of this. So dash I. Okay? And supposedly this is going to format our USB drive. Again, this is very powerful. If you're not sure, do not do this because you will lose data. Okay? And so we'll just press enter. Okay, so it did say attribute partition not found, and yet I do believe it was successful. So let's do a spot. And if you look here now, we don't have SDG1 or SDG2 anymore, we just have SDG. Okay, and that's what you're looking to do to make a bootable disk. If you're looking to end up, let's start with a clean slate. All right, next thing to do. I want to actually show you one thing here. So we know when we're getting pretty close to being finished. We go files and we go over here to properties. Uh, this is 1.7 gigabytes. Right? It's actually 1.677 and change, but about 1.7 gigs. So that way we'll know when we're getting close to being done. Uh, we're going to close. Oops. Now we just go to, so let's do a list of files. So we're currently in my home folder, which is the default area you'll be in when you open your terminal. And so this is my ISO here. So wherever your ISO is, you'll need to point to that to do this. So there's that. So what we'll do is we'll just do DD, and then, I don't know, sudo, DD. And then if equals, so that's input file, it equals Ubuntu, and I'll just press tab to complete. And then of equals, the output file will be sdg, so that's we got device, sdg, right? And then we'll just put status equals progress and that way it'll show us the progress as it does this and so yeah so when that gets up towards close to uh, 1.7 gigabytes we'll figure it's pretty close to being finished so according to the calculations in my head it should take around five minutes to finish this which would be 300 seconds. Alright, so, so it has stopped showing any further progress, stopped counting, but it's been my experience you need to wait until it actually exits. I think what's happening is it's comparing the input and output files. Alright, looks like it's clean. So let's see what it says here. 327, 600, record 10, yeah, three two seven six eight hundred out, which matches the in. I just didn't say it right. Yeah, it took four hundred and ninety-seven point oh two eight seconds. So cool. <laughs> Another thing I'll tell you that I learned the hard way is uh, you don't want to figure out how large your file is while it's doing this because uh, that changes the metadata, uh, last accessed or whatever. I would imagine. Um, so if you go over here and like you were to pull up the the, pro the properties right while it's doing this well that changes the accessed and if you do that while it's busy copying then it's going to have changed in the middle of the copy right and so the metadata or the accessed modified all that data that it saves there and when it compares them to make sure that it has exact copies, it's not going to come out clean. And I got an error because I had done that. I, I accessed it to see just how big the file was and how much longer I was going to have to wait. And when I did that, it said bad descriptor. So what you want to do is, if you want to know how big it is, check that before you start the DD process. But don't do it while it's doing it or you'll get that error. 
All right, so we'll close the terminal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out of here because it wasn't mounted. And if we just go ahead and put it back in, it should mount it. And we'll see what it comes up with. Yeah, see now? Okay, cool. So, so it opens it up with files, and you see that it put all this stuff in there here. Uh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty close to what I ended up with when I did it with the graphical interface. So I guess the next thing to do here is to go ahead and try it. I mean, what else are you going to do, right? So what I'll do is I'll stop this recording and I'll use the camera and I will record from the camera to see if it's going to work in a live disk setting. So let's do that. We're going to go ahead and restart. start all right then I'm going to catch the boots or, or the splash screen and I'm going to press the F12 to enter the boot menu now I have something of a convoluted mess in my boot screen but if I go up on this menu I find my HP um, flash drive that's right there so let's see if we can boot to that shall we okay so far so good uh, gotten this far before and had it failed, so let's see. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're going to select to try it so we can run it as a live disk. No, we got to click down here. There we are. We're in. Now, this is Ubuntu Bungie. That's not to say not the uh, subject of this, but, you know, it's a pretty neat little operating system. So, yeah, th this definitely worked. And we have a bootable uh, flash drive. So let's just see here. Do we have cheese on here? We do. Look at that. Yeah, yeah there I am. How about that? You even have cheese. So without further ado, I just want to thank you for watching the video. And it looks like it was indeed successful with the DD command. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care.